this is going to be an answer to viewer Sophie Cazzo 6's question about Vladimir Putin's secret lover, the Olympic gymnast. Hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very, very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I didn't know about this person. So I've got a little information here to kind of lay out who she is and kind of her uh, stream of uh, the li her life. And it's all from Wiki. So how accurate is it? I don't know. So you be the judge. Okay, so Alina Kabaeva is one of the most decorated rhythmic gymnasts in history with two Olympic medals, 14 World Championship medals, and 21 European Championship medals. She is reportedly the longtime mistress of Russian President Vladimir uh, Putin. Now, in 1983, Alina Kabaeva was born on the 12th of May, so she's a Taurus, and she's from the city of Tashkent, Uzbek, SSR, Soviet Union. Her mother is Russian, and her father uh, is a Muslim Tartar a professional football player. Now, Tartar is an umbrella term for various Turkic ethnic uh, groups. Now, 1986, the three-year-old Alina uh, began practicing rhythmic uh, gymnastics. 1996, at eight age 13, Alina made her international debut. 1998, the 15 year old won the European Championships uh, in Portugal as the youngest member of the Russian squad. And in 1999, she became the European champion for the second consecutive time and won the world uh, title in Osaka, Japan. Now, in 2000, at the Sydney Olympics in Australia, she was expected to win gold in the all around, but dropped her hoop. So instead she won the bronze. And then in 20, 2001, at the World Olympic uh, Gymnastics Championships, Alina won the gold medal for the ball, the clubs, the hoop, the rope, and the individual all around. You know, those are all those things they throw up in the air and, and balance and, and catch again. Plus the team uh, competition. So the individual all around and the team competitions, uh, the gold medal. At the, the Goodwill Games in Brisbane, Australia, she won the gold medal for the ball, the clubs, the rope the competitions, and silver in the individual uh, all around and hoop. However, she and a teammate tested positive same old story for the Russians, to a banned uh, diuretic and were stripped of their medals and disqualified for two years. Now, 2022, until this year, she was a practicing Muslim. Alina took first place at the European Rhythm Rhythmic Gymnastics Championship and the individual all around. And then 2003, she converted to Christianity, plus uh, added uh, another world title in Budapest, Hungary. She also began a relationship with a Russian policeman and in 2004 was engaged, plus won the all around gold at the European Championship championships in Kiev. Now, at the Athens Olympics in Greece, she won the gold medal in the individual all-around for rhythmic gymnastics, and also she retired from the sport. Then in 2005, she and the policemen separated, and Alina resumed her sport career at an Italy-Russia uh, friendly competition in Genoa. Now, 2006, she won the Gazprom Moscow Grand Prix and the silver in the all-around at the European gym, uh, Championships in 2007. Uh, at the European Championships in Baku, Abidjan, Ab um, uh, that's a hard word for me, Abidjan, I believe it is, but she was chosen to represent Russia but withdrew due to injury. Then, from 2007 to 2014, she was a State Duma deputy from United Russia, and the State Duma is the lower house of the Federal Assembly of Russia. Now, 2008, the newspaper Moskovsky Correspondent reported that she was engaged to Vladimir Putin. Uh, there were allegations that she had multiple, they had multiple children together, and the story was denied and the newspaper was shut down, as uh, happens in Russia. And then in 2013, Alina reported that she did not have any children. 2014, she became chairwoman of the board of directors of the National Media Group uh, of uh, the National Media Group is the name of it. And then in 2015, Alina was reported to have given birth to a daughter at the VIP hospital of St. Anne in Ticino, I suppose that is, uh, Switzerland. 2016, her younger sister was appointed as a city court judge in Tartarstan by uh, Vladimir Putin. And 2019, Alina reportedly gave birth to twin sons at the Kulikov Maternity clinic in Moscow. So now we'll see what the cards uh, tell us about all this. Okay, so viewer question, uh, Sophie Calls 06 
has asked, and I hope I'm pronouncing how you like your handle pronounced correctly. Uh, but anyway, she asks, is uh, Vladimir Putin's secret lover, Alina Kabayeva, okay, uh, approving of this invasion of the Ukraine? Remember, she is a member of the government. Uh, she's uh, like a senator or a representative, the kind of that equivalent in, in their government structure as to the United States. I don't know how it compares to uh, England or other countries. So um, we'll start out and address... That question, Alina Kavayeva, wondering if she approves of if it's if in fact Putin is her uh, secret lover, she approve of his war against the Ukraine. Look at that. These this is the good tarot. These cards don't even want to come together for a shuffle in this regard. I think that's kind of telling. So Alina, let's try to get your let's try to get your energy into these cards, Alina. Alina. Alina Kavayeva. Cards know what I'm talking about. Alina, that gymnast, that politician. Does she agree? Because she does have a professional political stake in this, being a member of the, I think it's called the Duma. She's like the Congress or the, the, the representatives that, that uh, govern the country. Does, uh, does she agree? These cards do not want to come together for this. Interesting. Let's do that meditation right now and see if that helps. Do you agree with all of this? Alina Kavayeva, do you approve of Vlad's invasion? Alina Kavayeva, do you approve of Vladimir's invasion? Still a hard shuffle. Cards are not wanting to cooperate. Alina Kavayeva, are you approving, look at that, of Vlad's uh, invasion? Alina Kavayeva. Alina Kavayeva. Vladimir Putin's invasion. Alina Kavayeva. Vladimir Putin's invasion. Let's get six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Alina Kavayeva. What do you think about all this? Who knows the truth? Does she know the truth of it? Because they're all fed the official uh, government line on why this happened, which is that uh, Ukraine was the aggressor. So what does she think about Putin's war? The signifier of this is the two of fire, the two of wands, short-term plans. Interesting, because in fact, this should have been a short-term plan. Go in and save those Russians that were inside the Donbass and earlier in Crimea, who felt like they wanted to be part of Russia, small little groups in a whole country of Ukraine. Two of fire, small term plans is a signifier of this. Alina Kavayeva, was she in favor of just that, not all of this? The challenge to it is this messenger of earth. So this is the um, messenger of earth. This has to be the page of um, a pinnacle, sorry, value. So the challenge to this is the messenger of earth, the page of value. Page is very little importance, small amount of value. So I, for me, right away, this says that um, the challenge to the short-term plans is this uh, small message of value. So I think the whole message of value wasn't getting through, and these small uh, plans maybe is what she would have been behind uh, if, it, in fact, the situation uh, had been that Russians were being uh, hurt in that um, in the Ukraine. And I've got a, some papers here that are going to slip out on the page, so let me push that back. The um, base of this reading as to whether she agrees is this page of water. Okay, so the page, I, I may have to reconsider what a messenger is, um, since this clearly states a page, this could be a knight, in which case this is a fighter of value, but we'll come back and recap and, and put everything in its place. So the base of this reading is the page of water. And remember, I use so many cards that um, I'm not always uh, right on with the representation of the specific card, how they're calling uh, a knight in this deck. But anyway, the page of water, water is emotions, cups, value, uh, you know, and uh, the page of water is a very small um, uh, value of, of emotion. And this is the page. So the base of this whole thing is that her concerns are of very little 
value. She's just a messenger of value. I think this is Alina in this regard. The past of this reading is oh, the call. This is 20. So this is judgment. Uh, the judgment card is in, in the past. And so this is telling us that um, it's about judgment. But why is it in the past? Perhaps her judgment, um, we'll have to come back and catch it. <coughs> the sky this reading <clears throat> is the two of pentacles, the two of earth. That's finding a balance. So yeah finding a balance for the value that's represented here. And it's so hard when, when you don't know that you've been lied to or you don't know what the value really is, I would suppose. I'll come back and make sense of this, so hang in there. And then the likely outcome of the first part of this is to share things happening in a rapid pace. Now it's starting to make sense. I'm going to do four more cards, but let's talk about this. So uh, does she agree with this war? Two of fire, short-term plan. That's what she uh, was on board for, getting the Russians out who were being mistreated uh, out of Ukraine, if that's what was happening, and, that's, and if that's what she believed was happening. The messenger of Earth, I'm going to say the messenger of, at this point, you know what, let's look it up, because I don't want to get it wrong. Let's see what this card is calling, what these cards are calling a messenger. 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 It's not clear to me. Then you got the Queen of Air, the Messenger, and then the Page. Yeah, that's the Knight. So this is a Knight. Okay. So, um, short-term plan. That's what she was on board for. Um, it's challenged by this Knight of Value. Okay? The Knight of Value, fighting for the value. A couple things come to mind. Um, uh, the value of this country to uh, Putin. And it looks like that was his intent all along, was to try to take the whole country. And uh, or the if this is Elena, she is a, a knight, a fighter for uh, values, good values. Period. The base of this reading then with this page of water is that her actual emotional value, and this is very little that of a page. It's certainly more than the general uh, population because she's a page, she's part of the royal court. But she's carrying this this cup of emotion into the scene. The past of this reading with the call with judgment is that, um, yeah, I think uh, the judgment uh, in the past is what the issue is here. Uh, the judgment to go into the war is what is the issue here. And then the uh, two of earth up in the sky is uh, finding that balance now that it's all happened. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing is that things are going to start to move at a rapid pace. Interesting. So this does call, this uh, spread is being asked to be finished because it stops without a clear uh, you know. and now the card is starting to work so <coughs> the signifier of that question does Elena agree with the war the six of air the six of swords uh, swords of truth justice rules and law and the six of swords is typically moving out of troubled water and we see the six of air this uh, ship uh, moving into something calmer so the very self of this question uh, is on moving into something calmer the uh, environment that that's in is this hierophant. Yep, the environment that moving into troubled water is completely in the uh, uh, the environment is the hierophant, the government. This is Putin. Moving this on is in Putin's uh, control, or maybe his greater government around him. Because I'm starting to understand that maybe the the government does has a bit more um, push in this than we may think. I guess we'll do this like this: the hierophant, the uh, hopes and the fears for this then is uh, the page of earth. This is a very small messenger of value. And the hopes and the fears with it is that some message of the value of these people gets through, I'm going to say. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing, does Alina approve? Is this three of earth, this three of pentacles working together for uh, something of public display. Her part in the government working together to find the true value of this thing and move it uh, forward. So we'll talk about it again really quickly. So does Alina approve of her uh, lowers um, war? Two of fire, short-term plan. That's what she was on board for, save our people in the Ukraine. The challenge to it is now this uh, messenger of earth, this knight of pentacles. This message has come through that the value isn't what it was stated to be, and she has become this knight of values. I think she's raising her voice. Uh, in as far as government is concerned, the the base of this reading with this page, and you have to remember, her whole well being depends on Putin's uh, generosity of uh, letting her be in the government. I believe the the base of this reading is this page of water. Very small offer of compassion. 
okay, is what she's able to bring. And then the past of this reading is judgment and a flawed uh, judgment, I'm going to say. And the sky in this reading with this two of earth is finding that balance of those pentacles. And then the likely outcome with this chariot is that things are starting to move. Uh, the um, signifier, the very self of that question about whether she approves is that moving things out of troubled water. That's what she approves of, moving this thing on and settling things down. But what's the problem is that it's in the environment of the Hierophant, which is in fact uh, Vladimir Putin. And then the, let's do this. And then the um, hopes and the fears for all of that with this page of earth is a very small offer of value to get this thing moved forward. Uh, a, a, a concession on uh, Russia's part to just accept the Donbass with some limited uh, regions in there instead of taking the whole uh, shooting match. Uh, that's the page. That's the hopes and the fears. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing is finding that uh, three of Pentacles, uh, everybody working together towards a resolution. I think she approved of what she thought she was approving. And now I think she's in favor of moving this on to some sort of a uh, compromise resolution. Wow, people's lives do take interesting turns, don't they? Let me know what you think about the cards and let me know what questions you'd like me to address next because that's what I like to do. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed uh, These are great cards. They come in a really nice box. It's kind of substantial. The guidebook that comes with them is useful. Um, it's it's it talks about all the cards it's got some good ideas for divination and it's easy to read so that i like the cards themselves are nice cards i mean they're they're um they're sturdy they've got a beautiful back they're a little glossy they're kind of biggish but not um difficult to use at least not for me and uh, you can see, again, the art on these cards just goes from, from right to the edge of the card. And there's lots of beautiful stuff here to see. So I do this to kind of mix the cards without damaging them and to give you an opportunity to look at them if you don't look at cards uh, very much. Um, you know, not everybody goes out and buys uh, tarot cards or has a chance to flip through the deck. So that's kind of uh, a little preview of what's in these cards. These are the Taracho, uh, not Taracho. These are, as a matter of fact, who puts these out? I have forgotten completely. So, don't know. Hay House. So, not a, a brand that I see very often, but uh, nice cards, and I really love using them. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.